everyone. I am going to today show you how to play Sudoku five by five. Okay, so you have your physical um, set that you are going to be able to use to manipulate and figure it out in front of you using your hands. And then on the digital version, you are going to click and drag the numbers where they belong, okay? So I'm gonna go through the first puzzle and teach you how to play, and then you'll be able to use your kit and your digital version to play, and then I can check your puzzles and let you know if you're right or wrong right here on the Google slide, okay? So the first thing to remember about Sudoku is that you cannot have any repeating numbers in any row or any column. Five by five adds a layer that makes it so that you have to look at sections as well, okay? Sometimes they're called regions. Each section is a different color. So we have a red section, we have a green section, we have a yellow, a blue, and a purple. So there cannot be any repeating numbers in any row or any column. Remember that rows are long and columns are tall, okay? And then on top of that, there cannot be any repeating numbers in any one section, okay? And so we're using the digits one through five in every row, every column, and every section. So you have to look at color and number. So in Sudoku, you want to start by um, trying to figure out if there's any specific number that has to go in a certain spot. So for example, in our second row here, we have a 1, a 2, a 3, and a 4. The only missing number is a 5. So we know that that 5 has to go in this spot. But in this version, you have to also look at the color. So since it's in the yellow section, it's going to be a yellow five. So I'm going to click and drag this yellow five right here. Okay, now looking at this last column, okay, this last column has a two, a three, a four, and a five. We're missing the number one. And again, it's in the yellow section, so that means I have to click and drag the yellow one over. If we look now at row number, row remember goes the long way, okay? So we're looking at row number one right now. And so this row is missing a one and a two. Underneath we see we have a two and a one, which means that I know that the one and the two is going to have to go in the opposite order up here. And they're both in the red section. So my red one will go here and my red two will go here so that I don't repeat one or two in this column, okay? So now we're going to look at this, uh, this row right here has, or this column right here, sorry, has one, two, three, four, and five, so I know that I'm correct, okay? So now let's look here at this section. I have filled in this whole section except for this red spot. I have a one, a two, a three, and a four, which means this red spot has to be a red five. So I'm going to click and drag that red five up here. Now that I've filled that in, I'm only missing one number in this row. I have a one, a two, a four, and a five. So this has to be a three, and it is in the purple section, so I'm going to click and drag the purple three. Over here in this column, I have a two, a three, a four, and a five. The only missing number is a one, which means that this purple one will fill in this spot here. That leaves this spot right here in this row open, and that has to be a four, and it has to be blue, because the only number missing from this row is a four, and it is in the blue section. That leaves this spot open down here. If I look in this column, I have a one, a two, a three, and a four, which means this has to be a five, and it has to be blue. Last but not least, I am missing my one, and it has to be blue. 
So you always want to check and make sure that you have every number in each row, each column, and each section. And if you look closely, you'll see that I do. And so this is correct. These puzzles will get progressively more challenging as you go through. Make sure you do them in order, just like all of our other games. I will have access to this and I will be able to check to see if your answers are correct, okay? So I'll leave a comment after you complete them and let you know whether or not your puzzles are correct. Don't get too frustrated and remember the rules and you'll do fine, okay? I'm excited to see how far you can get. Good luck.